So I have an update for the Battleborn battery. I bought it brand new with my own money to recreate the overheating positive terminal issue. And I put 30 cycles on it. And guess what? It literally melted. And it's not the positive terminal. It's something else. And today we're going to continue testing it. Now I bought this battery brand new so I know it wasn't abused. I used the proper size conductors, I torqued it to the recommended spec, I used the voltage that they recommend, and I used under the continuous discharge current and under the continuous charge current. I did everything by the book and I didn't even test the surge or anything else. And for the first two cycles, I pulled full capacity. So I thought, hey, everything's working great. And then every cycle after that, it kept overheating. And at first it was very predictable. I would let the battery cool and then I could pull full capacity. But if I did back to back, it would overheat and then it would disconnect and it was working how it's supposed to but then it kept getting worse. And I did 30 cycles manually back to back. And by the 30th cycle, I couldn't even pull more than five amp hours out of this thing. And the charging was getting crazy. It kept disconnecting randomly. I couldn't even do the testing. I couldn't even cycle it. I thought, hey, maybe this thing's dead. Now all of that testing was at 49 amps charge and 99 amps discharge. So I lowered it down to see what would happen. So in the last cycle, I pulled 80 amps and I pulled a lot more capacity, but it didn't trip the over temperature circuit and it melted the case. But realize that all the problems I've been talking about is with the positive terminal. I don't even know what's going on under here. So today we're gonna cycle it with 80 amps and we'll see how much it melts. I'll have a fire extinguisher next to it. But just to get this case to this temperature to melt this bad is pretty severe. So let's test this thing out and see what happens. So unfortunately for the last hour, I've been trying to get this thing to work, but it's totally toast. It will not charge and it will not discharge for more than a second. And I tried it on all three machines. So over here we have it set to 60. I press on. We draw one amp for a second and then it instantly disconnects. I thought these machines weren't working or something was wrong, but no, it's the battery. It instantly disconnects, but we still have voltage at the terminals. And with charging, zero current goes in, so I can't do anything here. So we need to open this thing up and see what happened. Whew. Holy cow, this thing is burnt. All of these are completely loose. It is charred to a crisp. It's all because this plastic melted, just like on the positive terminal. All of this melted inside as well, and it's right on the cell. All right, we need to cut it open more because this is horrible. and it almost burned a hole through the case. Holy cow. Having plastic holding bolts for conductors is not a smart idea, guys. This is such a bad design, it's crazy. And imagine how hot these cells got. They're right here. If this copper is getting hot enough to flake off and change color, that means these are at a really high temperature as well. And this was used within spec on the data sheet. What if you didn't? What if you use surge loads? So which side's worse, this connection with these loose or the positive terminal? I think this might be worse. Also, there's heat damage all the way to these screws. And these cells are discolored. And look at the BMS. It discolored the heat sink and the plug. And again, this has nothing to do with the positive terminal. This is another bad design. The tightness of this terminal is dependent on this plastic not deforming. And over time, some of my viewers were saying with plastic flow, this will always deform. It's not if, but when. And same is true over here. I mean, look at the charring in here. Discoloration of these metals is crazy. Even the plastic that the BMS is on melted. 
That was a lot of heat. I think this is worse than the positive terminal issue. Also, this is not a strenuous test. Take any battery on the market rated for 100 amps and charge and discharge with 100 amps and it will not do this. And for some people, they're not testing it very hard, but 30 cycles at the rated current capacity and it can't even do that without smoking into a charred oblivion? That is not okay. This was a brand new battery and it did this after 30 cycles. If you have one of these batteries, strongly consider swapping it up for a higher quality battery. This is not okay. Now I would love to hear what you guys have to say and if you have one of these batteries, please post your issues on the forum. If it's melting or there's some weird discoloration anywhere on this case, on the negative or the positive or anywhere else, please be careful because it can melt and you can get some crazy temperatures that can catch things on fire. Whether or not you abuse them or if you use them as stated with the data sheet, it doesn't matter. So I hope you liked the video and I will see you in the next one. I would love to hear what you guys have to say down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye.